wanted to make this video because it's been sort of requested quite a lot. Based off of the questions and comments that I've received, I figured this might be helpful. I just want to clarify that I'm not an art teacher. I do not teach art, and that is not what I will be doing with this video. I'm instead going to offer you tips and advice if you're a beginner artist or you want to get started with painting, or just how to improve your skill by yourself. Personally, I believe that the real way to teach yourself how to paint is simply by painting. Art students get better at painting because they paint. Because in art school, they make you paint, they make you draw, they make you practice, and they give you that guidance, but you can find it on your own. You know, I'm, I'm just speaking from my personal experience because I am a self-taught painter. I'm a very anti-systematic, stubborn person. I think it's just kind of my nature, so I never felt comfortable in a classroom environment. I hated school my entire life. Even though I love painting, I just thought that art school would not be the best thing for me, so I chose not to go. A real teacher with painting and anything creative really, whether it be music or writing or acting, anything that involves your creativity is simply the act of doing. That's what's going to teach you. Practicing and practicing, 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 practicing. So that's basically it. How do I teach myself how to paint? Uh, start painting. End video, bye! buy all the art supplies that you need to start painting pretty much at any art store. The stores that I go to are Michaels and AOE Supply. Michaels is a little bit limited as far as painting because it's kind of like a huge general crafts department store. You can pretty much pick up any hobby just by walking into Michaels like I think I'm gonna make jewelry today. I think I'm gonna sew today. I think I'm gonna spray paint everyone's car. Don't do that. You can do a whole lot. Also the good thing about Michaels is that they run a coupon pretty much all the time. If you go to their website, you can actually find the coupons there. You can print them out, you can get an app for your phone. They have acrylic, watercolor, oil, they have a ton of paintbrushes. You can get a bunch of paint mediums, palettes, whatever you need to get started. work with is acrylic, oil, and watercolor. I can't say that one of those is better than the other because that's all very personal. The thing with painting is that everybody has their own way of doing things, their own way of learning, their own pace, and their own preference for what kind of paint they would like. I like oil because they take longer to dry. I love the consistency. Just everything about oil paint I love and that's what I prefer to work with. For oil, you're going to need some kind of medium to thin the paint to make it a little more manageable. Turpentine is probably the most common one. I use Turpenoid, which is an odorless turpentine, and it's actually basically the same thing and works just as great. There's other mediums that you can add to that mixture just to make a different consistency with the paint. You know, start simple. Acrylics are probably a little easier to work with if you're starting out. They're water soluble, they dry quicker, so you can get a lot of layering done really fast. And I would say watercolor is pretty hard. Just because you're working with an element that sort of has a mind of its own and you kind of have to let it do its own thing and adjust to that. <laughs> Experiment, try out different kinds of paint, see what you like best. It's really up to you and what you find more comfortable and enjoyable to work with. I've received several questions regarding what brushes I use to paint eyes or hands or clouds or whatever. I get really bored with the technical stuff, so I just pick a brush that fits the size that I need, that I think is going to make the line that I need. Here, there I go. Just go for it. <laughs> Killed it, no! The brushes that I use are mostly filberts and round-ended ones in a variety of sizes and brands. I'm not particular with brands when it comes to brushes, I just kind of mix everything up. Well, first of all, you don't want to sit there and stare at a blank canvas and try to think something off the top of your head and just expect a masterpiece and then get mad at yourself when it looks like crap. 
If you're taking painting seriously and you want to actually improve your skill, you're going to have to paint with reference and you're going to have to paint from life. You can paint objects that are in front of you that you set up. You can use photos that you take. You can find photos online. There's plenty of websites that offer you um, royalty-free images that you can use and I'm going to link those on the bottom. So if you need a few reference sites, those will help you. Painting with photo references is a little bit tricky. The camera lens actually creates certain distortions that wouldn't look that way if you were actually observing the object in real life. So just be aware of that. Personally, I like to create my own references. I don't really like to use other people's. Inspiration is everywhere. Why can't I think of anything? I'm gonna share a little secret with you, okay? It's a secret though, so don't tell anyone. There is a whole world filled with things for you to paint. Go outside with your camera or your cell phone and take pictures of anything, something, and then paint it. It'll feel much better for you to paint something that you've actually seen with your own two eyes from your life. This was something that you've actually experienced and now you're expressing it through paint. I also like to sketch out a little line drawing before just so I know where to put the paint so I'm not just like winging it. Although sometimes I do that too, that's kind of fun and challenging. Set up your palette. Have whatever medium or water that you need. Look at your reference. Try to recreate the colors that you are seeing in paint. It's really not as bad as you think. A lot of you ask me about skin tones. One way that you can figure out what colors to put into a certain shadow or shape of the face is by taking a high definition photo and zoom into the picture with your computer so that it's all pixelated and you'll see all these different colors. You now a face is not just a single flesh tone. There's usually blues, greens, purples, reds, all these colors, different combinations, different amounts need to be added to get that lifelike flesh tone. What really helped me to get a little more familiar with colors was painting landscapes. I think when I was eight was when I really started getting interested in painting landscapes. I watched Bob Ross and he taught me how to paint landscapes and it was so much fun. And he talks about colors and brushes and all that stuff. So if you're a beginner and you want to paint landscapes, I highly recommend watching his show because it's amazing. And if you're not quite sure or ready or confident to paint something realistic or attempt that, you can always just play with the paint. Create something abstract and crazy. Just have fun with that. You know, familiarize yourself with the consistency of the paint that you're using the texture of the canvas or the wood. So that's basically it. If you want to get better at painting, just practice. Just go for it. Don't worry about doing it right or wrong or who cares. And don't look at another artist and be like, oh, well, he's way better than me. I could never paint something like that. There's always going to be somebody who's more skilled than you, but there's also going to be somebody who's less skilled than you. That's just life. Everybody's at a different point in their life, a different experience. You can't compare yourself to people and then put yourself down because of it. That's only going to discourage you. Painting is really about enjoying the process. Don't worry about doing it right, just have fun. Well, that is all for this video. I hope that you have found it at least a little bit helpful. So thank you for watching, good luck, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye guys.